Hey fellow enthusiasts, this is Tommy Lanham and I am on a mission to break the monotony of the mundane and the mediocre by bringing as much enthusiasm to as many businesses, ministries, marriages, and individual lives as I possibly can. Hey, if you want to know how my wife and I have learned how to have fewer fights about money, then this video is for you. Here we go. Step two is making money. We have come to an agreement on this, and our agreement comes straight out of the Bible. Again, in, in Galatians chapter 6, verses 4 and 5, in the message translation, it's worded this way. Make a careful exploration of who you are and the work you have been given, and then sink yourself into that. Don't be impressed with yourself. Don't compare yourself with others. Each one of us must take personal responsibility for doing the creative best we can with our own life. And so our concept of making money is to find out what it is you're supposed to do. How has God equipped you to serve Him and to serve other people? We don't get jobs just to make money. Money's an issue. It influences our decision on what we do, but it doesn't control our decision and what we do. Listen, God has equipped you. He's made you with the right passions, the different personality styles, your different strengths and abilities, your experiences, all that stuff comes into how God has equipped you to do what He wants you to do. And so make a careful exploration of who you are and the work you've been given and then sink yourself into that. What has God equipped you to do? Take the plunge, man. Go straight into that. You may have to take odd jobs from time to time, and that's okay. Especially if in, you're, in, you're in that stage of eliminating debt. You may want to take on some extra jobs to get some extra cash to eliminate that debt. But that's a temporary thing. <laughs> what you want to spend your life doing is what God put you on this earth to do. That dream job. There are basically three kinds of jobs. There's your dream job. There are stepping stone jobs. And then there are dead end jobs. All right, your dream job is that specific job that God has created you to do, that role that, that feeds your enthusiasm, that inspires you, that you want to do on a consistent basis, that you're able to plunge yourself into that, sink yourself into that. Not to impress anybody, not to compare yourself with anybody else, but just be creative in doing what God has called you to do. Maybe it's working for somebody else. Maybe it's working for yourself. Maybe it's some other alternative. Whatever it is, find that out and then sink yourself into that. That's your dream job. Stepping stone jobs are other jobs that we might do that help us get to that dream job. They may be supplemental jobs. They may not even be connected to your dream job, but they're jobs that help you get to that point. For instance, if you're in college, you're probably taking a job that's not necessarily your dream job, but it's helping you to pay for college so that you could better get to your dream job. All those are stepping stone jobs. Dead end jobs is that job that you have settled for. Well, it pays the bills. That's a dumb reason to have a job, at least on a long-term basis. Seek out what it is God has called you to do. Now, temporarily, as I said before, especially depending on what stage you are in, in that, those seven baby steps I covered earlier, you may have to have some temporary jobs. It's not necessarily your calling. It might even be something you don't even like. That's okay. Part of maturity sometimes is doing things we don't necessarily like. <clears throat> But maturity is not doing something you don't like for the rest of your life just because it brings a paycheck. Stop! <laughs> Find out what it is that God has called you to do. Now, you may not want to quit that job today. Be logical about this as you move forward. But do not spend 20, 30, 40 years of your life doing something that you don't feel like God has equipped you to do. <laughs> just because it's a paycheck. Make a careful exploration of who you are and the work you have been given and then sink yourself into that. Don't be impressed with yourself. Don't compare yourself with others.
because each one of us must take personal responsibility for doing the, our creative best as we can with our own lives. That is how you best make money. Because when you are doing what God has made you to do, you become very valuable. So find it and do it. If you will follow these tips that we have shared with you, it will not only help reduce the number of fights you have with your spouse, it will also feed your enthusiasm. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comments below, and if you want to be a part of the fellow enthusiast community, then please subscribe.